Hello everyone and welcome back to the interview series of Centro Studi Galileo. I am Silvia Romano, Head of International Affairs of GSG, and I am here in Mostra Convegno Expo Comfort with Yostra Lush, the first woman to be Director General Elect of the IIR from Paris, which is for us a great news, of course, representing this gender. And uh, we're very happy to have you here as a speaker of our conference, and I would like to thank you once again for your contribution. Yeah. And for those who are following us and uh, couldn't attend the conference, I would like to ask you a short summary of what you presented. Uh, that means the global challenges that you think we're facing right now in our sector, and how do you think that training is playing a role in this moment? Yeah, so thank you so much, Silvia, for the introduction. Also, I'd like to take this opportunity to uh, thank uh, Chantre Studi uh, Galileo uh, for the warm welcome and also for your nice hospitality. I was very pleased to be here also uh, being in touch with the network. Uh, yeah, so I have been here speaking about uh, global challenges uh, of the refrigeration sector, but not only because uh, two challenges are associated uh, potential and opportunities. Um, so we need to recognize that uh, today, uh, cooling refrigeration sector uh, is not more luxury. It's a critical infrastructure that needs to be uh, very well and sustainably uh, underpinned. Uh, because we need to make it clear for everyone without cooling refrigeration, we are not more able to live in this world. We are experiencing extreme heat, uh, uh, a warming world. We need cooling for food supply chains. We need uh, cooling food, uh, for um, health utilities. Now, um, I mean, at the same time, uh, I mean, in addition to uh, extreme heats, we are experiencing uh, a population growth, a widespread hunger. Food is there. It's only about, uh, but at the same time, so it's there, but we are experiencing a high rate uh, and volumes of food loss and waste that we can easily make available to feed people. Uh, so finding ways um, to uh, try to recover or to save uh, food from loss and waste through uh, the appropriate implementation of cold chains is critical. So it's much beneficial uh, than finding ways to recover this through a massive production. Uh, so we need to recognize that technologies are there. It's only about winning. So uh, technology is there to improve uh, energy efficiency, for energy efficiency. Uh, so it's about uh, two goals we need to strive for, to reduce the indirect emissions, to an improved energy efficiency, but not only, there are also the passive ways to reduce uh, the cooling demand. Um, at the same time, uh, we need also to strive for reducing the um, emissions from direct emission uh, and then uh, adopting uh, low uh, GWP refrigerant. And natural refrigerants uh, do have, I do believe from a personal uh, point of view, that we are going uh, into that direction. But at the same time, we need to make sure that people are well trained uh, uh, to deal with the natural refrigerants. Uh, some natural refrigerants are toxic, others are flammable, others like CO2, non-toxic, non-flammable, but uh, it's a matter of um, uh, engineering and, and the solutions are there for CO2. They are very well performing yeah. at, at high uh, ambient temperatures, thanks uh, to the technology development. But we need to make sure that our technicians, our engineers are well trained uh, on the way to operate safely yeah, and I need to underline uh, safely, uh, maintain service of the refrigerant equipment. So it's about it's only about first raising awareness of of our uh, of of the different stakeholders and making the training programs available for them. And the IR is very very happy uh, to support uh, our member countries and even uh, above, I mean beyond our member countries. We are not putting any limits for that to support with all our knowledge, uh, also to our experts. Um, so we do have the largest uh, expert uh, network of expert, experts in the world that are available to support us to build local capacities and national capacities on the way uh, to safely operate uh, alternatives and particularly natural refrigerants. So yeah. that's great, and we're always happy to cooperate and to have you at our conference Absolutely. to spread awareness once again. Thank you. So so much, Sylvia. Was 
thank very, you very pleased much. to be here and thank you again for your hospitality in Warmer. Thank you. Warm you.